first and foremost, if you today were to walk up to Benjamin Franklin or George Washington or John Hancock and ask them if they were ever a United States citizen, they wouldn't even know what you were talking about. They would say they were a Virginianite or Floridian, a New Yorker. And when you start to get your mind wrapped around that it was 13 colonies that became 13 states that were united, remember the Declaration of Independence says these 13 United States of America. The word united is lowercase. So we've lost history. We've lost many things that from an, from an understanding of what the true definition of what, what is America? See, America is comprised of two continents. You have a North America and you have a South America. So we made this claim just holding on to we're Americans. Yeah, you are Americans. But specifically, your nationality is the state in which you were born around. And what do I mean around instead of on or in? You're thinking in. I'm thinking on and around. The reason is the word state as defined in law is a body of people. That's it. And so that body of people on the declaration, it says these United States of America, united is lowercase. It's an adjective describing the two jurisdiction states of America. So it's 13 or today 50 states united as states of America. So your state is your country okay so literally you are and it's going to sound a little crazy to you maybe but it's okay the term self-govern don't take it lightly the term self-govern is plain as day you are your own country known as a californian he might be known as a californian too he might be known as a californian too but they have contracts that have bound them to become United States citizens. What we do as advocates is we help people start a relationship with the Department of State, the B Department of State of Being, because we want our being, our position, our allegiance to be known as a state of the Union citizen. I wanna be that true American which is a state of the union citizen. I don't wanna be a United States citizen because it's a corporation that resides literally on top of the true several states of the union. The people exist right here. The people are the power. The people are the equity. The people are now have been switched from the equity to the surety and the collateral for the corporation. In the word of God, we're called to come out of her. We're also called not to be the surety or the collateral or the debtor of anything. Why would that change as a Christian, knowing that a United States citizen is immediately in debt several hundred thousand, if not way more, because they're just increasing those debt ceilings and two trillion here and two trillion here as if they're dishing out a deck of cards. Why would I want to be a part of that when the word as a believer says something totally different. The fact remains, I don't wanna be a part of that because here's this body of people running a corporation and running it for these banks. These banks are able to issue unlimited amounts of deposits of funds into this congressional body of people to get them elected to go and serve their interests pharmaceutical death surrounds that covid death surrounds it for other reasons every everything that they vote for is against the people's best efforts like the unborn child hmm i do love it when i see a woman that is fighting for the children that are unborn i really do but there is now this point of accountability for us in, in, in the world because the tech companies of this nation are doing a global takeover of the whole world. And they're using the guides and the, of this thing called COVID. 
certificate of vaccination identification, COVID certificate of vaccination identification. The plan was before it ever came out. They, they had the plan of what they were going to do. It was all about the vaccines. What we do is we show you how to come out. We give you proof and lawful um, paperwork with certified copies of your passport application showing that you're not a federal employee or in better words, a United States citizen. See on the application, we do not put a social security number. We do not put a residential address. We actually say we are not a US citizen. And on the application, we put non assumpted all rights reserved without prejudice. That means there is no way they can hold you accountable for anything, any oath, any Thing on that application and we issue it with explanatory statements redefining who you are in law as a state citizen and in doing so we issue that through the united states post office or through a uh, a department of state registered uh, passport documentation preparer and you submit your application they respond with one or two rebuttals to see if you know who you are. And through this ministry, we help you with those rebuttals. And we simply answer the questions in a fashion that is lawful and legal. And we get you passports, period. Ladies and gentlemen, we're here to free the nation. Now, if you on an explanatory statement or on your application said you were not a United States citizen, that you did not take allegiance or oath to that, but you took allegiance to the state of which you were born on, which is a body of people. And we define that right there on the explanatory statements. And we take our oath of allegiance to the Declaration of Independence saying he is sovereign, he is king, and we are self-governed. You'd figure they wouldn't give you a passport, but they do. We actually take the oath without the United States under 1746A1 and with the United States of America. See, there's several points in law that define there is a difference in law between the two. And we take advantage of that because we know the law, his advocates, and we're here to support and help you. So on this journey of you wanting to become a state of the union citizen it starts right here right now with you signing up for your passport and then moving towards the living in the private program thank you